hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add a compute field from the user interface in Odoo so recently we have released a few different videos showing how we can achieve different things from the user interface without going into the code so in our recent videos we have shown you how to add on change function and similarly how to add a new field from the user interface like that we have released around three four videos showing what all the things that we can achieve from the user interface so in this video we will see how we can add a compute field and compute value into it from the user interface without going into the code so if you are looking to do the same from the code in the Odoo 12 development tutorials playlist we have already shown it so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 12 community edition so in this video what we will be going to do is we will be adding a new field inside the sales module so if I go to the sales form view, so I'll be clicking the form and then to the sales and I'll be adding a new field that is a new monetary field into the sale order and which will be a compute field and it, it will be computing the value from the order lines. So here you can see if we add some order lines, it will be automatically computing the total amount. So suppose if I choose a customer here, Azure Interior and if I choose some products, so if I go to the products and if I choose some products, you can see the total is 750 and it is automatically getting added here in the total field. So similarly, we can add a new field here and let's see how we can compute the total amount. So first of all, for this purpose, we have to add a new field. So I'll be adding a new field quickly without explaining much. So if you don't know how to add a new field from the user interface, you can just check out the video explaining how to add a new field from the user interface. So I'll be first of all activating the debug mode. So I'll be activating the debug mode using the debug mode extension. So or you can just go to the settings and activate the debug mode. So the debug mode is activated. So first of all, I have to add a monetary field into the sale order. So for adding a new field, you can click on the debugger button here and click on view fields. So once you click on the view fields, you will be seeing all the fields inside the corresponding model. So here you can see the model is sale order and you have got around one not three fields. So as we have to create a new field, I'll be clicking on create button and I'll be giving the name as line total. That is we are going to compute the total amount of the order lines. So x underscore line total which is the name of the field that is technical name of the field then you have to give a label for the field which will be shown in the user interface total i'll be giving the name as total or i will just change it to line total and in the bracket i will add a compute just to show that it is a compute field just in the label i have added a name as just to show its compute field or we can just remove it just keep it as line total and the model is default you can see sale order now you have to set the field type so i'll be choosing monetary field so once you set the monetary field we will be showing the currency along with the field like uh, 100 usd like that we will see the currency symbol along with the field so i'll be choosing the monetary field so that's done now we have to make it as compute field so here you can see in the advanced properties you can see related field dependencies and compute how to define a compute field a brief description is given here compute field are defined with the field dependencies and compute so you can just read it out so here we have to set the dependencies first of all so first of all our compute function is depend on the order lines so i'll be doing one thing i'll be duplicating this tab so that we can explain here so i'll be going into the new orders and we will be adding a new field here which we which we are going to compute the total of the subtotal here that is if you add a product here that is you can see the total is zero now if i enter a unit price here that is if i enter 300 you can see 300 so we have to compute the value from these lines so if i place the mouse over here over this one to many field you can see the field name is order underscore line so we have to give this as dependence that is depends are on which field changes we have to compute the value again like then we have to set the dependencies for the compute function so i'll place this order line as a depends so i'll be going into this form and from here dependencies i will place order line and inside the order line if you have to specify like a price unit or you can see we have got unit price and subtotal so i'll be depending on the unit price also so like that you can set all the necessary dependencies so here you can see the field name is price underscore unit 
that is we are going to depend on this field unit price so i have to give the name like order line dot price unit so i'll be giving order line so you have to as you have got multiple values you can just add all the dependencies by putting a comma so i'll be adding the price unit like order line dot price unit as it is inside the many to one to many field order line dot price unit so i have successfully set the dependencies so you can just add more dependencies like it will be has to depend on the ordered quantity or even subtotal so just for the illustration purpose i'll be choosing order line and order line dot price unit as the dependencies you can just properly set all the necessary depends so we have successfully set the dependencies now we have to define the compute function so for defining the compute function you can see we have the only predefined variables are self the set of records to compute and date time we have available date total time so these are the predefined variables which we are got available and we will be dealing with only self so we will be writing the compute function here so for rec in self so we will be iterating the self over the for loop to avoid the singleton errors so we have successfully iterated self over the for loop that is for rec in self now for line in a rec dot order line so we have to iterate over the order line so if i come to the sales form view we have to compute the value from all the order lines like here we have 300 and next time we have 400 so we have to compute the values from the order lines so we have to write that so i'll be explaining it later don't worry let me complete the code first total equal to line dot price subtotal so i'll be adding a code so i have to define or initialize the variable first total total equal to let me add here total equal to zero and once the computation is done i'll be copying this record size equal to don't worry i'll be explaining the same code once i completed adding this so x of line total i'll be copying this x of line total equal to total so the compute function is ready so if you don't understand don't worry i'll be explaining the same so here we have got an error so most probably the error will be the record so i have to give it as rec so if i go to the details you can see the record is not defined so i have to change the record to rec so that's done and if i click on the save button you can see there is no error so we have successfully added the computation function for the field now we have to add this field to the corresponding view so that we can see it in the user profiles so for that purpose i will be going back and if i go to the corresponding view if i click on the debugger button and if i click on edit view form in the inherited views if you remember we have successfully added a new view here which we are shown in the last video while we are making the video of how to add a new custom field from the user profiles so i'll be adding the new field here so if you don't know how to add a new custom field into the model and into the views you can just refer the previous video so that you will get a better understanding so what i have done here is i have added the newly added field into the views this is the extension view that we have created last day for adding the test date in the view so i'll be clicking on the save save so we have successfully created a compute field and added it into the user interface so let's reload the screen to see the changes so i'll be clicking on the reload refresh button so here you can see the line total has been got visible in the view so as i have placed the mouse over the corresponding field you can see the technical name of the field is x underscore line total now i'll be going here and if i take the corresponding field i'll be going into the view fields and if i go to here x line total so this is the field that we have defined so before explaining the code let's see how it is working or whether it is successful so i'll be choosing a customer assure interior and you can see right now the line total is zero dollars so as you, you have given it as a monetary field you can see the dollar sign is coming here like currency symbol like here this is the use of the monetary fields we will be getting the currency symbol along with it now i'll be choosing a product so let me choose a product you can see the line total has been got updated with the values inside the lines that is 750 suppose if i change it to 1300 you can see it's automatically getting changed and if i change to 2 and if i change it to 5000 you can see it's automatically getting updated here so if i add more more lines if i add some more lines you can see the value is still getting changed so this is how you can add a compute field from the user profiles without going into the code 
so you can see it's simple we have to add a new field so for adding a new field what you can do is that you have to activate the debug mode simply click on view fields so once you click on the view fields you will be able to see all the available or existing fields inside the corresponding model and then you have to create a new field so here we have created a new field called x line total and i have set, set the field type as monetary and you have to set the dependencies so based on which all fields the value has to be recomputed so you have to set the dependencies so right now i have set the dependencies as one to many field that is order line and the price unit that is order line dot price unit so based on these field changes the value will be recomputed and inside the computation function you have to define so in the self inside the self you can see in the self the set of records to compute so i just iterated the self over a for loop for rec in self just it will be help us to avoid the singleton errors and i have defined a variable that is total as zero so i have just initialized a variable and set the value as zero total equal to zero or you can just set as line total equal to zero it's up to you you can just define a variable and set the value as zero then i am iterating the record that is we have to compute the value from all the order lines so if i go here and if i go to the sales we have we will be having different or more than one line of order lines so we have to iterate each record that is we have to iterate order line and we have to add this value that is if i click on edit button and if i place the mouse over here you can see the field name will be price underscore subtotal so we have to come add the value of this field so what i have done is i have iterated for line in record dot order line so in the record dot order line variable so in the record dot order line variable we will be having all the records that you have selected here so in the first iteration you will be getting 21,150 USD so in the first iteration we will be getting 21,150 that will be added into the total amount in the next iteration next value will be coming so once the iteration is completed we will be getting the sum of all the values inside the variable called total and after the for loop so you can see the for loop will enter here so once the for loop iteration is completed i'll be assigning the total amount to the new field that we have created that is rec of field name so field name is here that is x of line total x underscore line total so the total amount is set to this field so this is simply how we can add a compute field from the user interface the same method is even used in the odoo enterprise edition also for we cannot uh, do something like from the studio even in studio we have to follow the same method we have to add a field and come here and set the compute function like this so this is how you can add a compute field from the user interface so and if you don't want to do, to do the same from the code itself we have already shown you how to do the same from the code you can just check out odoo 12 development tutorials playlist and search for the compute field so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you will be get notified regarding all the upcoming videos so that's it thank you have a nice day